Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're diving into a fascinating question that many developers encounter when working with Docker containers. Our viewer asks, is it possible for two separate Docker containers to communicate over a ZMQ IPC socket? If so, how can this be achieved? Let's explore this intriguing topic together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Now, remember to say just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now let's continue on. Yes, it is possible for two separate Docker containers to communicate over a ZMQ IPC socket, but there are specific requirements. Let's explore how to set this up. In your example, container one binds a ZMQ response socket to IPC YAML service name. Meanwhile, container two creates a ZMQ request socket that connects to the same IPC address. To run these containers, you use the Docker commands with the dash link option. However, IPC sockets require shared namespaces, which the dash link option does not provide. Instead, you should use the IPC option to share the IPC namespace. This allows both containers to access the same IPC socket. Here's how to modify your commands. After running these commands, you should be able to establish a ZMQ IPC connection between the two containers. If you still face issues, consider checking your application code for any binding or connection errors. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. In this example, the user has three Docker containers. The first container shares data with the other two. They use specific Docker run commands to set up inter-process communication. Container 1 is run with the shareable IPC option and a volume from the temp directory. Containers 2 and 3 use the IPC of Container 1 and share its volumes. With this setup, Container 1 can access the process IDs of Containers 2 and 3, allowing it to retrieve data from them. I hope that video helped get through to the resolution that you're looking for. If it did, please hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a great one. Cheers.